Here are four ways molecules can be represented. This is very useful in organic chemistry. The first two molecular formula and Lewis structure are quite familiar. C4H10, and here's a Lewis structure for C4H10. The two new ones that are introduced and used quite often in organic chemistry is the condensed formula and the line angle structure. The condensed formula is sort of like a pseudo-Lewis structure, and it gives you a sense of how the molecule is put together without having to draw the complete Lewis structure. The line angle diagram is a very abbreviated structure representation. It's important that we appreciate what all these little line segments mean. The end of a single line segment means a CH3 group. The, inter, uh, the joining of two line segments is a CH2 group. There's two CH2 groups here and two CH3 groups. Now, a single line literally means a single bond like we have between these carbons. So map the Lewis structure against the line angle diagram. I'll do some examples that involve double, triple bonds and cycloalkanes next. Here's an example of an alkene, C4H8. I chose the constitutional isomer that would give the cis-trans isomers. The other constitutional isomer of C4H8 would be the double bond occurred between the first and the second carbon, and you would not get cis-trans isomers. But let's take a look. Lewis structures are as follows. This is for the trans isomer. This is for the cis isomer. And the condensed formula would be C3, CH3, CH, CH, CH3. And the line angle structures for the trans, maybe this first one, and for the cis would be the one below. I encourage you to map out all the carbons and the hydrogens in the line angle diagram and compare them against the Lewis structure. Here's an example of an alkyne. C486, there's a Lewis structure. Notice there's no cis-trans isomer for an alkyne because of the electron pair geometry around these two carbons. It's linear. And condensed formula. And the line angle structure. Again, I encourage you to map out the line angle structure against the Lewis structure. And finally, here's an example of a cycloalkane. It's a cyclopentane, C5H10. There's a Lewis structure. A condensed formula is doing apply for cycloalkanes or cyclic molecules. And finally, the line angle diagram. Again, I encourage you to map the line angle diagram to the Lewis structure.